Yeah, Desert Combat's not playing ball. Um, it actually crashed again, <laughs> even though I set it to compatibility mode, so... But it just as I was trying to load this map, these things. So I don't actually know... What's going on if we're, we're going to get in or not. It's actually letting us in again. What? Okay, that was weird. I guess I just have to... When it crashes, I have to get out of the game and try reapplying compatibility mode. Red dog! There's a kit you can pick up which is not just a sniper rifle, but it's like an elite kit. I remember that. I think it's left on the terrain in places. That's interesting. Yeah, they have basically like elite kits. I wonder if... I can't remember if they have any different ones. So this is the Battle of 73 Easting, which is a big desert map. And is there anything I haven't shown you? No, I don't think so. Let's take an epi tank. Yeah, so you come out the base. This one is basically a massive flat desert with little pockmarked terrain bits you can hide in just to get slightly lower if the tank's approaching you. So there's the big flat area and there are large compounds with flags that you've got to take. Uh, so there's a lot of battles happening in the desert between these compounds. Some of these have buildings in there, I forgot about that. There's some buildings here so you can have some infantry wars going on at certain flags. I wonder if the flag radius extends to the building, that would help. Yeah, we're in a capped radius right now actually. But are we in a cap radius if we go into a building? Because then there'd be a reason for the buildings, right? Oh, so... It's only this front half of the building, so... Yeah, you can flush people out of the buildings who are hiding in the buildings. I've actually capped that. It thinks I'm actually playing the game. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It takes a lot less time to cap flags, I think, in this than uh, later games. I don't think there are uh, aircraft on this map. I don't think... Let's just drive to the enemy base. I'm pretty sure there aren't. It's basically a tank warfare map. No, I don't see any air vehicles there. In fact, it would. I think it's a symmetrical map, so I think both teams get the same kind of gear. Yeah, that's basically what's going on. Okay, let's try a different map, see if we crash. Oh, DC Bridge. Let's go on the op side. Oh, Special Ops, they get, they get quite a nice gun for Special Ops on the Iraqi side. This is, uh, I believe, mainly an infantry map. Oh, this is a really good one. Fuck. So, this is DC Bridge. It's uh, like Iraqi shanty towns or territory. And uh, there's two towns. Or there's one big town, have you like to see it. And there's a bridge in the middle. But there's tons of little sniper points. This was a really well-designed infantry map at the time. Tons of places to hide. Tons of back alleys and shit. You don't know where the enemy's gonna be. Obviously, apart from taking flags, you can get on lots of walls here. There's a ladder over there. I think I can get on the wall that goes around the bridge. See where I end up. Oh, I've got these edges. Um, don't have destructible scenery, but if you remember on Battlefield 1, there's like, um, what's that, Sinai Desert. There's little huts with surrounds like this. You can kind of duck behind and sometimes be seen, sometimes not, as a sniper. DC bridge and there's the bridge. As 
there a ladder edge I can climb down? What will this do? Ah, it puts me on the other side of it. Good ladder physics. Uh, wait, where where am I? What is this? What the fuck? Okay. Why would you put a ladder here? I'm guessing this is just a place people can hide, because there's literally nothing here. That's, that's some interesting design, I don't know. I guess on this kind of game, yeah, that actually serves a purpose. You wouldn't put it in a Unreal Tournament deathmatch game, but but here, especially if you have part of it in a cap radius. Oh look, here's a place where you actually get healed up. That's pretty cool. Ah oh, man. Oh, let me get downstairs, punk. DC bridge. Yeah, this this actually sparks a lot of memories. You know when you play certain games, just like if you listen to music and things, and they spark uh, memories of times in your life where you played them? This map does that to me. Uh, like I was going through art college at the time, I was beta testing, so I saw this map before anyone else, I actually saw a few earlier versions of it. The servers were absolutely packed on the beta testing servers with a private key that I went in once a week I think on a certain night I logged in and we tested it in this like huge swamp of like uh, 64 players and uh, I was going to art college at the time and not knowing what the fuck I was going to do with my life and art college was fucking me around and I was basically talking to my first girlfriend at the time as well yeah, lots of weird things were going on at the, at the same time while I was coming back home to play this map. Art college really fucked me over. I'd, I'd left sixth form, didn't know what the fuck I was going to do with my life, went to art college and they were... that was an awful... basically a university degree um, where they were teaching me a film studies class. There was some really nice lectures and lecturers but at the same time, sometimes you'd be, I'd be taking a bus like for one hour into the city from where I live in the countryside, only to be told that there's either a room, well first there's like a room change, and then you go, okay, what room, you got to find out where the new room is that the session's taking place in. And then you get to the room and you find out the session's been cancelled, and there's no session on today, and you've basically paid bus money and travelled for an hour there and an hour back just to get a coke from a vending machine, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like nothing going on. It happened so many times they just cancelled sessions that we were going to go to. And they fucked us around a lot. Yeah. But I just remember coming back home from days like that and, and playing this map in a full packed server and having great fun. This is really accurate if you duck down. Right, I don't recognise Coastal Hammer. I'm glad it loaded. Oh, it's like a D-Day, but for um, this, you know, Iraqi thing. So the Americans... The Iraqis... For some reason, the Iraqis spawn on an island out at sea. What do they get? Oh, they must get the amphibious vehicles, right? Let's see what... <laughs> Okay, I don't know what that was in his, his, uh, uh, Arabic, but that sounded funny as fuck. <laughs> was he angry? I can't tell. I, I guess not. Um, <laughs> oh, look, the camouflage of the tanks has changed. But yeah, th now I know what vehicles on the Iraqi side are amphibious. Because you can only start with amphibious vehicles here. some reason the Iraqis are starting on this island. And it's like a D-Day landing, I guess. They go across this water, and there's fog of death over there. Am I not there yet? Jesus Christ, this is a long... Either it's a really slow tank, or it just 
it's a really big English Channel sized gap that you have to cross. I'm halfway now. Jesus Christ. That's a bit of a wait, isn't it, before you get there? You would have thought that the mappers would have noticed this. I suppose it's so you've got a long time... Yeah, look, you can see what's on the beach so you, got to, you can figure out who's going to be trying to stop you. It's a big beach. That's about the same size, actually, as the one you leave on the island. So, you're landing in different places in your tanks, I guess you've got to storm the beach and they've got all their tanks on the beach, so it's a, not really a D-Day landing. Oh, shit! I can't drive! More of an amphibious assault in tanks. Let's get something faster, I noticed a Humvee over there. Yeah, that's going to be faster. Okay. And then, uh, so you've got to conquer the beach. The beach is step one, maybe that's the hardest battle, probably. Then you got to go up all these roads. And then you get a... Uh, actually... Why are there four flags in the same place? That is weird, man. Hold on a sec. I don't know where I'm driving because I'm looking at the map. Okay, why that? So, you go up here. Oh, is it a town? I can't remember playing this. Oh, there's like steps? Where are the flags then? Alright, one flag is... Wow, it's quite a detailed ta I really can't remember playing this very often. Let's get out. Let's work out where these fucking flags are. Am I at the camp radius? Where the fuck? Go upstairs. Oh! I'm in the camp radius now, I'm upstairs. Why? Now I'm not. The flags are these houses. There are only certain parts of the house that are the flag. That's kind of cool. I don't... I think the... Uh, it looks a bit weird in here, like all the... All the heights of windows and shit are slightly too high, and, and this banner here is slightly too high. It's really weird. Okay, let's drive in the little... Can you hear that? Funny little... <laughs> just random... Could be anything Arabic music. Just, just Arabic sounding random drumming that could be anything. It should play Barra Barra from Black Hawk Down in, in the car. It'd be awesome. <laughs> I thought it was just going to come down and there'd just be like four flags in a row next to each other for no apparent reason, but it's actually a complicated setup they've got. And I hardly remember playing this map. Uh, I remember it slightly, I guess. What's that, trucks? What is that? Oh, oil tanker. Should we crash into the oil tanker? It'd be funny. Look how fast we're going. Dude! We're not going to make it to the oil tanker. Oh. Here we go. I survived that. Come on! Hello! What the oh, oh no, no. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> well that was that was a, a film worthy scene there. Just what happened there. That was, that was like cinema quality. I, I hope a, a story will be made about that. <sighs> this is how you know I'm happy. What the fuck? Oh yes, yeah, yeah, that that does happen. Ah, <laughs> uh, what fun. Right, um, so it's interesting going back to some of these maps because I can't remember some of these maps. This one's called DC Cornered cornered and I, I do not remember it. Um, 
So what's cornered? Can I remember it? The fuck? There's like cliffs here? There's cliffs and a river. I do not remember this map at all. Hold on. Let me just. Soldier, fuck! Are you telling me that was a combat area? Okay, that's a combat area. Okay, what what can I? Okay, I can't, can't go to any of that. It's a combat area. What the fuck? Where can I go? I'll have to look on the map. Then go to that oil thing. I think maybe. No, can I? Oh. Oh, it's proper. Oh, it's a burnout oil field thing. What the fuck? Hold, hold on a sec. Hold on just one second. What am I driving? This Humvee has a minigun on it. What the fuck? Well, I don't remember this. That is fantastic. Look how I'm using it. This is how you use a minigun that's mounted on a Humvee. You tuck your head underneath the minigun so it's above your helmet and then fire. Pro tip. <laughs> I did not know I had that. I didn't even know that was... I, I can't even remember that being in the game, to be honest. There's a friggin' MiG over there. Can I fly that? Wait, is it crashed? Oh, is this meant to be a bombed... Oh, I see what you've done there. They've put a prefab MiG in as decoration. And then they've got, like, like a bombed runway, which is probably something that happened quite a lot in the wars in Iraq. The Gulf Wars. Lots of setting fire to un uh, oil fills, lots of um, bombing of runways. I don't remember this fucking map, man. I'm sorry, I just... I don't know why I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sorry. Why? Okay. That was too wide for my wheels. I think it's for tanks. Is that a crashed heli? What is that? A crashed um, Hercules, I guess. I'm going to drive to the right. There's a American base. Where is it? It's behind those weird mountains for some reason. Ah! Fucking rocks. I don't remember this one. Or camp here. Yeah, it's uh okay. I like the minigun though. Didn't crash. <sighs> I was lucky. This is DC Desert Shield. Ah, I think I like uh I partially confused this with like El Alamine. But it's not. It's um, it's very similar to LR mine actually, but it's DC's own thing. Oh, you know what I'm going to take, don't you? I'm going to take the fucking hind. There's a scud. I didn't show you the scud. Where, where's it? Get yeah, a fucking tank and show you the scud. Yes, I mean, what would an Iraqi war, Gulf War game featuring the Iraqi faction be without a scud missile? Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. So this is a. <laughs> Check that out. There's a full-on Scud missile, and you can, um, can, yeah, you can drive it, but it's just not letting me in right now. Here we go. Um, it's not the nuclear option, but it's pretty devastating. My God, it's so slow. I right? I don't know if I should wait. Can I get any vehicles if I drive to one of them flags? I'm gonna try driving into that near flag. All right, let's uh, let's test the Scud. Let's test the scud. Yes. Yes. <laughs> there it goes. Where's it gonna land? Will we see it? I didn't even see the fucking thing. right, I'm gonna point at the mountain over there. I didn't even see the thing land. There we go. Yeah, that's that was pretty massive. I hope it blows up a lot of things in its radius. Oh fuck it, I want to get in the hind. Well look, is that a crater? I want to go over to that crater actually. I, I made a crater that wasn't there before. Buck, get up the hill. Get up the hill, you bastard. Oh my god. So it spawns, it spawns a fake crater that smokes and flames and then it vanishes. It despawns it. 
I didn't know that happened. Maybe they added that in for version 8 because I swear that didn't happen before. Is there anything out this spawn? Maybe if I take the flag there'll be stuff. I'll take the flag and maybe there'll be stuff. I don't think it'll be vehicles though. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, I do think it'll be vehicles. I don't think it'll be air vehicles. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, what he said. Oh, um, the voiceover I like is uh, "Go, go, go" for the Iraqis. Where's, can we can we initiate "Go, go, go"? That's not it. No, where's the cool one? Oh come on! I can't. This this was meant to be easy. All right, it's go. It's okay. My scud just blew up. It's go, go, go. It's driving me nuts, man. Why can't I find the most simple of things? Here we go. F seven, F seven. There we go. Did you hear it? Yes. Yalla, yalla, yalla. I like it. I don't even know if it's real or not, if that's actual translation. There's lots of radio um, like radio taunts on some of these games that just sound really cool to me. I like the Battlefield 2142 taunts, like for the Russians. I think that's, I think it's Russians mostly. It's like Pladivnika and stuff, which I think might mean enemy, but I'm, I'm confused because I don't actually know Russian. We're finally going back to where we belong. I'm taking the hinds, because I, I just want to fly again. It's so cool. Yes! Yes! See the rest of the map and then uh, grab another one. Oh! Oh, that is water. I thought that was an error, but it's actually water. So this is a nice map for... Uh, Tanks versus planes and tanks versus well, I don't think there are planes actually. Are there? Tanks versus helicopters. That's what I mean. Oh no, there are planes. Oh shit! I didn't show you that. I didn't show you that. Uh, there's an A10. Um, give me my parachute. Fuck. <laughs> there's an A10 warthog that my corpse is on. My corpse will point it out to you. It's the one my corpse is on. Everyone. That's how you know which one it will be. <laughs> Well, there's nothing I... Alright, give me that. Fuck! No! Fuck! The handling! The handling! Fuck! Alright. Whoa, listen to the sound effect. Yeah, there are other planes, I think. There fucking are. That okay? There's some maps. I think one's called No Fly Zone. It's like a planes mainly map, and uh, there are different planes you can get. I think there are like two others. You can get a Tomcat. I know that. That's one of them. This hand was pretty nicely, to be fair. Look how many bombs you have! Oh, and look at that minigun thing on the front. It drags smoke behind it. That's cool. Oh, fuck up your airfield. Oh, oh I, I thought I could have bailed just then, but no. Don't crash. <sighs> so much anxiety when it's going past the stars on the stars and stripes. Oh, okay, so we're on Dust Bowl. Yeah, Dust Bowl was one of my favourite maps on here as well. Again, a big deserty space, you may think, but um. <gasps> no! I didn't even show you the Black Hawk, but this is the advanced version of the Black Hawk. Fucking missile launchers on the sides. Okay, so there's a Black Hawk in this game, and it's. This, this is green, you can see, but the other one's black, how it should be, like in Black Hawk Down. And uh, that Black Hawk can carry troops, and it's got miniguns on the side, as you expect. This is the rarer version of the Black Hawk. Oh fuck, I have so much to show you on this map. I have... I have there's at least three things I know of that I want to show you. Look at that plateau down there. This is Dust Bowl, so it's a... 
a hilly desert map. The center is like a big bowl shape with like steps in it and the flags as you can see here. Oh I've spent many good times defending this flag. Our, um, the flags are on little flat bits. That's how many flags are there? There's four flags in the desert. And the bit I'm flying over now you can tell is a the deep bowl bit. And then it goes up in steps between the two flags. Quite a long map. And then along the sides you can actually drive up the sides as well and flank people and they don't know you're there. You can pick sniping points and shit. And one of these flags, is this the right one? One of these flags has the Barrett. There's dust down here. Let's see if this is the right place. Yes! Uh, I just don't know how to pick up that stuff. Hold on. How do you pick up stuff? Space? Fuck, how do you... How do you interact? I can't even have it, guys! By the way, guys contains girls. Just in case you're wondering. So, if you're a girl, don't feel left out if I'm saying guys. Because I mean you as well. Guys contains girls. Get over it. Where is the button for pick up shit on the ground? Here we go, G. I'm not going to change it. G, drop and pick up shit. Yes! Oh, there's a health cabinet. I think I harmed, harmed, harmed myself. I don't want to... I don't want my helicopter to blow up because I'm leaving it. That's the thing. But, um... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> the sound effect is perfect. Listen. Listen to the meat. Right, can I take off with this helicopter before it blows up? Yeah, I thought I was going to lose my health, but I didn't. Oh, 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 control, control, you must learn control! There we go. Yeah, that point too, underneath me, I spent many fun hours defending that point. Yes. And tanks obviously come through here and uh, weave around and stuff and try and take each other out. Let's fly to the Iraqi base though, because there's one more thing. Specifically, I know I can show. Where is it? Fuck! Is it there? Wait, this isn't the... Oh, I've flown to the wrong base. So let's take the Apache out for a spin. Fuck! No, no. Don't topple. Don't topple. You hear me? Wait, how good is this uh, taking vehicles out? I can't actually remember. Not as good as I thought, actually. Okay. It's meaty, but it's not what I thought. It's not like the pillum in uh, Battlefield 2142. Right, guys, we're going to look at a new helicopter. We're going to go out to the showroom, right? We're going to take a we're going to take a trip out to town, kids. We're going to go out to the showroom and look at a brand new uh, helicopter. And we're going to decide if we're going to get it, right? We've got to weigh up our options. But we might come back with a shiny new helicopter, you never know. It's going to be a fun day out. I'm actually sad uh, that the Allied side, was it? The American Co Coalition, that's the American team. Oh, you can see it, boys. The uh, Coalition side. Oh, actually, I can see more things I want to show you. Fuck, I can see, like, three things I want to show you. The Coalition side has another helicopter, let's put it that way. And I can show you that next map. Because I know they have it on the next map. But this doesn't. But... Ooh. Oh, look on the menu, it's like got a red skin. The Barrett has like a red... It doesn't have a red skin when you're holding it. That's a shame. Yeah, you can't have skins of guns in this game. That's something Battlefield 1 can do better. I don't know the fucking name of this tank, but it's awesome. Because it's fast as fuck. It's like a... It's bouncy? 
It's got super suspension. There's like well, it's got like super bouncy suspension. It can survive being chucked on the ground. I think it does have a self-writing mechanism. It's so bouncy, but like it's like fast, but really powerful gun as well. So mad. Oh, I found another thing to show you, for fuck's sake. Keep finding things to show you. They do put different vehicles in different maps, so each map has its own, like, it's, they have so many vehicles, and, um, each map has its own choices, as well as, like, the favourites. That's so bouncy. Okay, so, this is the anti-air version of that amphibious vehicle. So... When you don't have a shulker, you can always pick this instead. There's a shulker. This has little, uh, uh, what are the SAM sight missiles called again? Was it? These have stingers. Actually, there's a class that has stingers. Which class has stinger missiles? I can't even remember. Fuck. Okay, that's something I want to show you. And then this. I believe is also an anti-air tank, so there's a lot of anti-air tanks. Look at that, look how many you can fire in a short space of time. It's going to be very difficult for a, a plane to get away from that or the shulker. And of course, you get the gazelle. A very nice helicopter. Which I might crash. But I hope I don't. It's a lot nippier and different handling characteristics from the Apache. My dad actually got to fly one of these ones. Uh, well, my dad was in the uh, army in Cyprus. He tells all his, uh, not war stories, but, you know, army stories, I guess. And he tells a lot of stories about how his friend was a, a pilot of a gazelle, which is this. Like, uh, and he was like a driving instructor for them as well. He taught people to fly. And on one of his days off, when he wasn't teaching people to fly helicopters, he let dad um, have a, a little go. So my dad's flown one. I haven't been in one. I haven't actually been in a helicopter before, but I might go one day. So this has uh, the secondary missiles for taking out tanks. Fuck! I'm leaving! <laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> Let's try it. What's, wh where are we? I don't know where we are even. We're gonna crash. Nope. This is a good map. Papa Bear, all units. Papa Red Bear. Dog. Red dog. Casualty count is high. This is first light, and this is a big map. And I saw this in various stages as it was being built. Fucking 15 seconds. What the fuck? Because, uh, as you know, I've been. I was doing the beta testing with. Um, the desert combat team people and the lighting and the, the what the sky looked like and how thick the fog was and things I believe all changed then now they've gone for this purple sky look it, I think it used to be like a deep greyish blue which I preferred now they put this skybox in which is like it looks like a Terragen skybox or something let's fly the original Black Hawk because I didn't before ooh It takes a lot to take out a Hercules gunship. Let's fly a Black Hawk around. So you get these massive air bases, and um, yeah, you get a few. Oh, there's a new plane on this map. You get quite a few planes to pick from, quite a few tanks. And it's hard to friggin' turn this helicopter from side to side. I don't know if I recognise that thing down there. What is that? What is that? 
Oh no, that's the um, the anti-air with the minigun. I think I showed you that. Yeah, I showed you that. Fuck that. Wait. Um, do we have little birds? That's what I want to know. Do we have little birds? Because they do exist. Uh, I thought they existed on this. Maybe I have to capture a point. Ah, uh, well, I, I don't know what the key for parachute is. Is it space? All right, hold on. Space. Is it P? Is it space? Ooh. Fuck! Look, here we go. We've got an F-15. So, uh, this is a different plane. F-15. You got a taxi. I like that you don't have the runway in front of you, so you literally have to taxi. Forces you to taxi to a runway before you take off. Oh, look at those little trails. There's a little town here. It's a petrol station. Yeah, it did. It has looked different at different stages of the beta. I've enjoyed seeing it evolve. It didn't used to look uh, like this. There were times where it looked better, but it didn't have as many features. So it's like a double-edged sword. I swear there were frigging. I think maybe you have to take the center point to see the, um... Oh look, this... Oh, look on the map. Yes, this has a radar. This plane's advantage is it's got a radar and it literally spots stuff that it flies over. So you can detect... You can detect what you the stuff that you fly over and give their position to uh, your teammates. That's pretty awesome. Here, I think it spawns here. I'm gonna get out. Right, let's try holding space. Hold space. Fuck! What the fuck is it? The, right, the fucking helicopter I want is there. It is there. Why would the Iraqis have it? The Iraqis have the, the point. The Iraqis have the point so I could spawn as an Iraqi and get the thing. I don't know why the Iraqis would have an American piece of kit though. It's maybe like Dawn or something. I'm not sure they've quite captured the mood of like Dawn, but I mean it's very purple. Right, it's got two rocket pods. This is a different variant of the gazelle. No, this isn't a gazelle. Ah, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I failed. I failed, guys. <laughs> I didn't know what I was seeing. Maybe if I capture that point as the Americans, it'll, it'll show you what I want to. Right, so that. Uh, the colour scheme fucking fooled me, but that was a one of the variants of Little Bird. Um, it was painted in Iraqi colours, so yeah, it was like one the Iraqis have requisitioned from the Americans or whatever, somehow. And now I can land the Apache, I don't have to parachute out of the damn thing. Let me cap this. Oh, hold on, can I blow, I'll blow up the... blow up the frigging little bird that's painted in orangey yuck vomit colours. Now I'll try and land. And cap this flag. Magic the flag. Now I don't know if this has worked, but um this tank has changed. Ah see it's not spawned yet. I'm just going to take a tour in the Abrams for a second. Oh, you slip off the slopes when you're in the Abrams. Come on, spawn, you fuck. Is it going to spawn? I want it to spawn. Yes! Right, so that's what I was expecting to see. Um, it just so happened that it looked like a gazelle because it was painted in gazelle colours for the Iraqis. Let's 
So, yeah, and it's got the right loadout too. The other one just had missiles. So it's a weird version of the little bird, of the Iraqis, that they added in, I think, quite late in the game development. But, um, yeah, this is really nice. This is, like, the fastest helicopter in the game. And it's the little bird. It's got little mini guns. Whoa! Don't get caught. What the fuck? What the? I'm sure you've seen what I just saw. Someone's put a frigging giant Saddam Hussein painting in this building. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Is this? <laughs> I don't think it's where Saddam hides out or anything, I think it's literally just one of those cult of personality posters <laughs> that are everywhere in uh, countries ruled by dictators, basically. That's the advantage of... Um, uh, not the, I shouldn't say the advantage. That's the thing about living in a... Uh, like a westernised country or something. I'll watch what I'm doing here. Instead of going, watch what I'm doing. Phew, that was a good recovery. The thing about living in a Western country is, uh, it's normal to hate your leaders, even if they do a good job, even if they are um, not doing bad compared to other prime ministers or presidents who have come before. It is normal and healthy to uh, hold a level of disgust to your leaders. And you know things have gone wrong in um, some of the countries run by dictators because they have this thing called the cult of personality. Can I land on one of these blocks? In which the leader is beloved by his people for some reason and there are posters of him everywhere on the walls for some reason. And uh, you figure out later on that it's not actually love the leader that's going on there, it's um, a heavy amount of manipulation that keeps the populace in line. They have to uh, confess their love for the leader, and if they're not seen to be, then they, um, things can happen to them. <laughs> so I think it's, it's very healthy to be sceptical about your leader, and uh, that's something that happens in Britain a lot. I don't think there's ever been a Prime Minister uh, truly who has been like loved by most country members at the time they've been in office. I think people may like them when they start doing their job for a bit, but it wears off pretty quickly. The thing kicks in where um, it's normal to uh, take digs at people in politics. <laughs> and it seems right to me as well. <coughs> Fuck! Yes, they have barbed wire in this game. <laughs> and that's what cult of personality is. <laughs> When there are pictures of your leader just everywhere, it's not right. It wouldn't happen in Britain, like, I don't think so. I mean, you'd have campaign posters like, vote for me and stuff, at come election time, where they put banners up of Tony Blair or whatever, but you wouldn't have people worshipping Tony Blair and putting his poster up in every town or whatever. I'm saying Tony Blair because it's very appropriate to the era that this game is set in. <laughs> very appropriate. Tony Blair, the guy who brought Britain into the war on terror behind America, when he didn't fucking have to do that. And um, then when he quit his job and tons of people thought of him as a war criminal after he quit his job, he became the peace envoy for the Middle East or some shit. <laughs> there was a, he was in a job title like that and it was just the most ironic thing. Oh, are we in Star Wars? This looks like something in Star Wars. Look, this is, this is 100% Tatooine, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't this like a hovel where, like, take the, am the ammo packets out? And that could be, like, where Obi-Wan hangs out? This place? You can imagine that, right? Come on. Don't tell me I'm going mad. Not yet, anyway. You can now, if you want. 